गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम वृशाली धनोकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आई टी डिपार्टमेंट इन माई लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट एच सी आई यूनिट वन टू फाइव आई हैव मेन्शन द ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर इंटरक्शन वीडियो प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स होप यू हैव वॉच ऑल दो वीडियोज ना इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट अवर नेक्स्ट यूनिट और लास्ट यूनिट दैट इज यूनिट सिक्स एच सी आई मॉडल्स एंड थेरी इन दिस यूनिट there are various models there are descriptions how exactly this models will be work in real life so let's see the first topic in this unit is there are total three models goals and task hierarchy model linguistic model and physical and device model so linguistic model also has back norm of nor form and task action grammar physical and device model also has three state model and keystroke level model we will learn all those models in this video next so following points are covered in this video that is hci design model goal and task hierarchical model with examples linguistic model types with examples physical and device model types with examples so let's start the first and main point is what is design model next so hci design model in hci design models are used to guide the creation of an interface this guide is often less technical than a theory model describes how your system exactly look in future or exactly work in future a model will take into account a certain human factors such as psychological socio technical and collaboration more than most theories will right so this is the concept of model model means just kind of blueprint or prototype of your system so in your syllabus there are total five types of models are included that is goals and task hierarchical model linguistic model physical and device model architectural model and hierarchical task analysis model so in this video we will learn about the first three model goal and task hierarchy linguistic and physical and device model the remaining two models we will learn in the next videos so the model aspects of the user the, why we use this model for understanding knowledge intention and processing different system so this is the goal based on that models next so first model that is model 1 goal and task hierarchy model the goal task and action these are the main three systems or functionalities will be provided goal goals means state of the system that human wishes to achieve using same device the goal means aim regarding to the user task task means activities or steps required to achieve the particular goals next action action means physical interaction with devices so for that model there are three techniques are used that is gmos means goals operators methods and selection goals means what the user wants to achieve the aim of the user operators means basic actions user perform methods means there are different types of sub goals or operators and selection means choosing the proper method or proper task between the all that okay so this is the first technique second cognitive complex theory that is cct so this technique analyze the procedure proceduralization and error behavior it analyze all the errors that will be generated in future so it analyze all the errors and solve it the next hierarchical task analysis this is your next model i will explain it clear so this three, three techniques are used next now the example of goal and task hierarchical model this model generally use divide and conquer approach for example the sales report you need to uh, generate or produce a particular report according the books for example you should produce a report for that first step is to gather data the find books name you should find a book name by using their keywords in database mean you should search a particular book name in database right again find the abstracts and names the author of that particular book according to this the first there is a main goal sub goals and again task 
so you should divide a particular task into the sub goals and particular action so by approaching or by completing these all sub goals and task you should complete your main goal clear next the next and second model is linguistic model linguistic model understanding the user's behavior and cognitive difficulty based on analysis of language between user and the system linguistic model involve body of meaning and vocabulary to express a meaning as well as mechanism to construct a statements that can be define new meaning based on the initial one so linguistic model analyze the meaning what user types through the keyboard and what systems will be understand so this thing analyze through the linguistic model it has two types back smart form that is bnf and task action grammar that is tag so let's see the first type is back smart form that is bnf this model describe the syntax of programming language they describe the interaction between user and the computer and also describe the user's actions not a system response so this model include included or divided into the two types terminals and non terminals so what is meant by terminals uh, suppose for example while using microsoft word there are particular grammar or syntax will be automatically given it shows upper and lower case letters right you should click and move mouse button so there is a particular action will be happen so this thing analyze through the terminals and non terminals means complete expression or select mouse and position of mouse this things will be analyzed by non terminals let's see the one example of back normal form that is drawing line in graphical system suppose you want to draw a particular line what will be action first draw line means you need to select line choose first point and last point next select line to position of mouse the next and click the mouse button task action right. grammar again choose that point is both structure of line to right last command of like double click the mouse and then task to draw the grammar used in so linux command is not for this syntax how exact there are different command action like cd means copy clear move cdr etc so it make the consistency more explicit and encoding users world knowledge it parameterize different grammar rules let's see the example suppose in dns there are unix commands would be used for example copy so how it will be copy cp plus file name plus directory means you should copy file name into the particular directory right but in tag that is task action grammar there is a particular option or particular variables will be used that is op op means operate operations and operations means there are different operations like command op means copy move or link so for particular actions will be perform you should mention command op plus file name plus directory means it will be analyze different operations in one syntax or in one command right next next third model is physical and device model physical and device model represents human motor skills it has two types that is three state model and keystroke level model so let's see the first type is three state model three state model generally used for mouse purpose mouse is one kind of hardware device that will be connected to your computer right so mouse they have the particular three state this mouse functionality based on this three state model the first state one state one means moving mouse with no button press for example you should move a mouse to on to the particular screen right so this red color is will be a pointer right so this is a state one moving mouse pointer on the screen next state two state two means depressing mouse button over an icon and then moving the mouse for example dragging you should drag a particular file into particular folder so that thing that is your state two means continuously you should press a particular button of the mouse next state zero state zero means this is for light pen when it is not touching to the screen or out of range for example mouse pointer location not set means you should not set a particular location of the mouse that what exactly perform this thing is called as state zero clear 
so this thing that is three state model according the three state model your mouse will be work clear next the next second type that is keystroke level model keystroke level model generally based for the keyboard keyboard is one kind of hardware device that will be connected to your computer so based on empirical knowledge of human motor skill keyboard will be work it measure the time required for each keystroke and predict the total time of completing task it includes physical motor operators and mental operators the keyboard keyboard will be based on keystroke level model for example physical motors physical motors based on k p h and d so k is key stroking key stroking means striking of keys you should press a particular key of the keyboard next pointing pointing means pointing the mouse button h means homing homing means you should switch your hand between mouse and the keyboard next drawing drawing means draw line using mouse so this thing is called as physical motor next mental motor mental motor means mental preparation means you should have a particular knowledge so how to use a particular keyboard how to use a mouse or uh, the particular the functionality of each and every buttons that will be available on the keyboard so this all things is known as mental operator and last system operator system operator means response the system sometimes give a particular beep a particular warning right so the voice or the instruction or warning or the particular beep regarding the system this is called a system operator so keystroke level model analyze all the physical motor mental operator and system operator regarding the keyboard as well as mouse clear next hope so you understood the hierarchical model that is goals and task hierarchy then physical and device model keystroke level model and their types that will be used in real life also so keep practicing thank you